Japanese animation, or anime as it's commonly referred to as, is one of the world's most popular and widespread genres. But this fast-paced, flashy style came from rather humble roots. In 1917, Namakura Ganada was one of the first animes ever released. It's about a samurai who buys a dull sword and ends up paying a larger price. While it may seem like nothing now compared to the anime of present day, Japanese animation started off looking a lot more like Steamboat Willie than what you might expect. Here we see a classic anime made in 1933 about a man wandering the woods who gets frightened. There are several key characteristics that are similar to Steamboat Willie, including the goofy looking character and overly exaggerated emotions. The spaghetti like limbs are also similar to those in Steamboat Willie. Unless you know a lot about Japanese culture, you might be surprised to learn that anime and manga actually only became popular and widespread around the 1980s. Most mainstream animes often included giant robots and other various strange things. One of the most popular, and still most popular today, is the series called Dragon Ball. An interesting characteristic of anime is that they often have a continuous plot. For example, the anime Dragon Ball changed into Dragon Ball Z eventually. It's also worth noting that most animes start off as mangas, and while the main characters and plot normally stay the same, there are often changes made to it so that it's more accepted by the public. For example, here's the difference between an anime version of a character and the manga version. It's pretty clear what's wrong with the manga version and why the change was necessary. Aside from the numerous series of anime, there's also another part to it, full length movies. Some of the greatest films of all time are debatably films by Miyazaki, a Japanese filmmaker. On a list of the top 250 movies of all time, he has four. The top rated, and my personal favorite, is Spirited Away, a story about a girl who gets trapped in the spirit world and has to find her way home and has to figure out how to save her parents. As time continues, there's only going to be more and more new movies and series, but this also engages a new question, and people will battle about this topic tooth and nail. What's better, the original manga or the anime? Well. In my opinion, it doesn't matter. It's up for the viewer to decide.